Guys, I have an impressive unit in my hand. This, the Acaso Seymour 200s. What did you think I was talking about? There's my house from the end of the driveway with the camcorder in night mode. And with no night mode. And there's my house from the end of my driveway with the Seymours with no night mode. Good frosty evening everybody. Tonight we are going to be testing out the Acaso Seymour 200 Color Night Vision Goggles. I'm going to do some tests here in the yard and then we're going to go for a walk. The sky up there, as you can see, is a midwinter sky, 10 o'clock at night. There is a moon behind clouds and this is about as good as we're going to get to do some testing with our Acaso 200 Seymour night goggles. These goggles are designed to work on a night like tonight where there's a little bit of light where you can kind of make things out but not really. It is night but it's not pitch black. Now the Seymour goggles do have infrared mode which works in pitch blackness. I'm going to show you guys the infrared mode which is basically just a black and white mode with an IR pink light on the camera um, which is invisible to the human eye but what I want to show you guys tonight is this camera does something very special color night mode okay and I'm actually wearing uh, a colored shirt right here which I'm gonna see if it'll pick up and my hat has color on it as well which we'll see if the, the other camera can pick up I don't know let's let's get this thing set up and I'm gonna walk out there in front of the shed so actually, I'm going to show you guys, my snow machine is over there as well. I'm going to turn this camera on. We're going to keep recording here because you need the audio from the camcorder because the audio is no good on this other camera. I'll switch to the other audio and I'll show you right now. This is the audio that you get with the Acaso Seymours. Now, the last two videos I did with this, it was so blown out, I had to lower it 32 decibels in post-production just so you could kind of hear what I'm saying. I'm going to give you a little clip here with the AX53 camcorder and I'll show you, you can hardly see the snow machine to begin with, but this Seymour night goggles is actually picking up the green on the Articat snow machine. That's what you can see. That's probably very close to the field of view you're getting with the Seymour 200s. So what a difference. Let's let's check the color on this. Let's see if it actually picks up the color of my shirt. Obviously, in IR mode on the camcorder, we you can't tell what color my shirt is. Did I mention it's like minus 15 degrees out here tonight? Yeah. The things I do for this channel. There it is. There's my shirt. And actually, I'll, I'll turn this camera away. So that in case it's throwing light on my shirt, okay? But let me just turn the camcorder off for a second. That's the best test. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to take the camera off of my makeshift tripod here, and I'm just going to walk around and show you some scenes in the dark, handheld, because I think that is what people are going to do with this camera. Now I know a Casso. Didn't appreciate my previous efforts doing that, but I want you guys to keep in mind that that's how people are going to use this camera. So I'm going to try to show you what I can show you. We're going to go back to the swamp where there is no light. It's a little bit darker in the swamp. And I just want to show you guys in color mode what I'm talking about. I'll show you on the camcorder what I see, and then I'll show you on the Acaso what I see. Okay, there's into my backyard. I've got a an archery target, a deer target out there. 
And that's what it looks like on the Acaso 200s. I cannot see that with my own eye. I will show you guys the view with the camcorder. Okay, there's into my backyard. I've got a an archery target, a deer target out there. And that's what it looks like on the Acaso 200s. I cannot see that with my own eye. On the Acaso 200s, there is no light coming out of this camera right now, and I'll show you guys that by using the camcorder. So I'm going to take the camcorder here, and we're going to point it at the Acaso, and I'll show you that on IR zero mode, it basically just turns the scene into black and white, but the IR light is not on yet. Okay, so right there, guys, if we're looking, there's no light coming out of the Acasos. So it's in IR mode, which basically makes the image black and white, but it's still just using the great sensor, whatever they've got in a sensor in this camera. Um, not color mode, black and white. Okay, IR0. Now I'm going to turn it to IR1, and that's going to actually turn the IR light on. Okay, there, the IR light is on, and that brightens everything up. Now there is actually a light coming out of the goggles, and I'll show you. There's the light coming out right there, because we are on IR1. And there are seven levels of IR, and I'll just go through those right now for you guys. That's IR mode 2, IR mode 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's the highest mode. And I'm just going to pick this up and hand hold it. There's the reflectors on the snow machine, so it's quite bright. I don't see any of that light to my eye. When I look above the camera, I, you can't see that light. Oh, look at, look at that. There's the moon. I was telling you guys, the moon is up there. It's behind clouds. But this is the, the perfect conditions for what they're telling me we need. We need a little bit of moonlight. And the snow here in the yard helps as well because that brightens everything up. There's looking towards my house, 100 meters back at the edge of the swamp and I'll show you guys the view with the castle that's no night mode okay and there is the view from the same place with the castle we can see it's zoomed in quite a bit more like I say than the camcorder it's probably uh, maybe a 75 millimeter field of view something like that I don't know it doesn't say what the field of view is but we are zoomed in there quite a quite a bit I can't see that shed in my boat with my naked eye, none of that stuff. So we're, we're seeing a lot of detail here that this camera is pretty amazing. This is a dangerous tool. We could point this at any of my neighbor's houses right now. And luckily I'm on very good terms with all of them. And they know Gary's a little quacky that he's out here testing cameras and things all the time. So when I say, hey, whoa, Brandon, I've got a night vision camera here. I'm just playing around. He doesn't come after me with a garden rake, you know? So it's all good. Snow shovel this time of year. <laughs> hey, look at that. Wind's barn. I can't see that with my eyes at all. I'm under the street light at the end of my driveway here. So... That's why these bricks are all nice and lit up in the front, but back there in the background, I can't see that barn with my eyes. Again, here's the same view pointing back towards the neighbor's barn. The barn is back in behind there. We cannot see it at all. If I put the camera in night mode, then we can kind of see the barn back there, but if we didn't know it was a barn, I don't think we'd be able to tell what it is. Okay, so for reference, here is Gary walking under the street light in just normal camera mode. So now you can see my shirt. I don't know if you guys could see it earlier, but it's yellow, bright yellow. And there is red on my jacket and my hat has a bunch of different colors on it. Well, look at my nose is pretty red too. It's cold out here. 
I, I've got to admit guys, I'm actually having a lot of fun walking around with this camera tonight. I feel a little worried that somebody's going to be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I keep thinking of when I said there's all kinds of things you can do with this camera. Yeah, but nine out of ten of them are nefarious. <laughs> okay, looking up the road, there's a yellow sign on the side of the road. Another street light just around the corner. And down here, down this side road, there's some Christmas lights down there. Look at that, pitch black, we can see the color of the Christmas lights. Sometimes I see deer down here running across this road here as well, so I thought maybe. Yeah, so I am actually inspired to keep walking here because it's actually quite a ways, maybe another three quarters of a mile down the road, there's another place where the deer always hang out in this other guy's yard, so I'm like now, I'm already this far, I might as well just keep walking. I'm, I'm excited if I, could, if I could get some deer on here, that would be awesome. This is pretty amazing guys, there is a deer in there. I saw it moving. I think it might have just ran straight through. But the fact that I can even be looking for it, look what I found down on the river. There's a deer down there. All right, how awesome is that? I did actually just find a deer, or a couple of deer, that I would not have seen if I didn't have this camera with me. I was just scanning the bank and I saw a movement and there was a deer in there. And I'm pretty sure there was another one behind, running behind it. So yeah, I got a deer on here. First one. Sunday night, 11 o'clock, no kids down here playing hockey. Well, when I was a kid, teenager at least, we would have been there till midnight playing hockey, shinny. Uh, they would have had to kick us out, you know, the guy that took care of it, he was pretty good. He used to leave the lights on till midnight for us and we would beg him, just a half an hour more, half an hour more. I remember it being so cold, you'd have a scarf over your face and it would be frozen right solid and the kids still didn't want to go home. You know, those were different times back then. Look at this sign. We can actually see that it's green. Hey, look at the sign. Wait, what sign? We can't even see it with the camcorder. I've actually been thinking about getting my private investigator's license, guys. No joke, I've been thinking about it. This would be a great tool for that profession. Getting in your deer stand early in the morning before pre-dawn light. You're out looking over your feed plot. You can't see a whole lot. Guys, this would help immensely. Now, no, you're not going to be shooting in those conditions, but you'll be able to watch what's out there at your feed plot. I could think of a dozen uses for this camera. Would I use this to walk around the forest and look for animals just on a whim at night? Yes and no, actually. Yeah, I was going to say no, but yes. You know where I would use this, guys? Is I do owl counts, okay? We do, we have a local group that does actual, we go out and do um, surveys for owl populations. This would help immensely. We get close to them and I've tried with my other cameras, but because of the light that comes out of them, I'm pretty sure the owls, I don't know if they can see infrared or not, but they never seem to stay there. So I'd like to try this for, you know, a little bit of biology, conservation, owls. I've shown what this camera can do. This camera is awesome. 
from an endpoint user's you know standpoint. I, I wish I could put it on a tripod. Yes, you would get a little clearer image than me. You know, it might be a little shaky with me hand holding it, but that's not my fault. That's the design issues, the, the battery that doesn't work, you know. Um, and most people are gonna pick this camera up and walk around with it exactly like I'm doing and play with it in this fashion. And this is showing you what you're gonna get, right? So Acaso, guys, you have an awesome product. I've done my best to show, you know, what the average guy who picks this up is gonna use it, how they're gonna use it. And you have to appreciate that, I think. Um, and guys, I was even impressed on a night when there was less light than this. They weren't because it's their product and they're like, it can do better. Well, yes, but not every night is going to be perfect conditions. Tonight is perfect conditions, guys. This is the best you're going to get with this camera. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the quality of this thing, what we're seeing? I think it's pretty unbelievable. It's crazy. Oh, I can see those deer tracks down on the river. Well, this is the other yard that has the deer feeder in it. And there's no deer here. So just like the sign, dead end, this is the end of my video.